Guys, welcome to the Iron <laughs> Galaxy <laughs> Talk Remote Stream. Jeez. Huh. Okay. I thought we Have were you not seen Wayne's World? <laughs> when the producer <laughs> says in five, four, three, mm -hmm. you don't keep talking? That's, well, when you, that's when you queue up your best but joke. I did. Ladies and gentlemen, Ramon Franco <laughs> has no idea how production works. Yeah, I'm television. A Who knew? Yeah, garbage. You're garbage. Garbage. Wow. Hi, I'm Keats. I'm here to take you on a guided tour today of a giant man who is not made of broccoli. What? And with me, of course, is Del Ratch. Yep. Del Ratch, Isaac Torres. Also known as Noah. Also Promise. known as <laughs> Noah the Third. Yeah. Uh, Noah Dark. Noah Dark. He's Noah Dark. That's, okay. Yep. Yeah, Noah Dark. And he is uh, on the design team now and also doing QA and kind of doing everything. Yeah. And just being That's generally more, impressive. Yeah. That was tender. Come yeah. here, bring it in. Oh. Uh, can I feed you? I think he just kissed me. Can no, I hate broccoli. <laughs> Get that away from me. You sure? It smells so bad. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Every time someone presses B in the chat, Isaac is going to take a bite of broccoli. What? <laughs> this is going to end really badly. Oh my God. <laughs> so press B if you want to see Isaac eat, eat broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> Uh, and of course, we have Noah Sasso with us. Get dizzy, dizzy ish, something. I don't know. Let's get dizzy. He's a person. He's uh, he did a lot of the heavy lifting on this character on on Agonos. He did a lot of the uh, the support work for laying the ground for like all the crazy stuff he can do, which I don't want to get into just yet. But uh, it was not easy stuff, and he did an amazing job. So stuff. he is on the couch today. And of course, reintroduction to Ramon Franco. Hello, engineer. Everyone General nice guy. Typing B. Yeah, by the way, I said, there's a lot of That's B's. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm man. just saying. Why did you guys do this? You kind of have to eat some broccoli. Oh, now. come on. Don't grab a small one. <laughs> just just start licking one of the big ones. <laughs> yeah, go. just treat it like an ice cream cone. He can't do this while we go through the training mode stuff. He's, he's going to need both hands. We can set some aside for later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is the, if, if you're new to the stream, this is the part of the show where we kill about five minutes and we let everybody kind of get connected and get through the Twitch ad and all that stuff. So bear with. I know you guys are all very excited to see Agonos. We're excited to show you. Um, but first, I want to wish Shinku88 a happy birthday. He is one of the top Con Raw players. If you've never seen him, check out his stream. Really, really good stuff. He's always coming up with new traps and new tech for Con Raw. And uh, happy birthday, dude. Thanks for all the support. And of course... I want to talk about something that's very near and dear to me. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's a free guide to Killer Instinct on the internet that is probably the best guide I've ever read in my entire life, and it doesn't ask me for a cent. It is at ki.infill.net. I think we got a screenshot of that we can put up. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of tailored towards a Street Fighter 4 player uh, branching into KI because it speaks in a very Street Fighter 4 language, but it is absolutely useful to anyone. A new cool. KI player with no background at all, anyone coming from any game, should be able to follow this amazing guide. It's got embedded videos that loop for you so that when he's talking about a concept, you can actually see it in action right there in front of you. Uh, just really excellent, really excellent guide. I uh, can't recommend it enough. If you have no need for it, uh, at the very least, you should pass it around to friends and just let people know who are interested in the game that this exists because it's, it's really fantastic. Yeah, it's also pinned on our forums, right? It is. That, it's pinned on our uh, on our forums. You go to ultracombo.com, ultra-combo.com. Go to the forums button. Go to general discussion. And it's pinned right there on top yep. in the top few posts. Um, so that's very, very awesome. It's very cool to see the community coming together and, and putting together great tutorial content for each other so that everyone can improve, which is awesome. I'm super happy about that. That's all I have for intro stuff. Do you guys have anything? You're just eating broccoli voluntarily <laughs> yeah. at this point. And people <laughs> stop pressing catching up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is true. <laughs> Do you guys have anything you want to say before we, we jump right in? No, not really. <laughs> there are a few stream viewer achievements this week. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys can hit 4K viewers, we will show you Agano Stage Ultra. If you can hit 5K viewers, we will talk to you about the 2.4 balance changes, and the Nerf Hammer came down. Oh, oh boy. I did oh, see you change boy. your name. Yes, you change my name, name back to the Nerf, the Nerf button. <laughs> uh, so that's happening, maybe. And if we get to 6K, we will show you Conra's Retro which is my favorite thing ever. It's pretty it's sick. so good. If and of course, if we get... Huh? 7K. If only there was something at 7K. There is something at 7K, <laughs> Noah. If we get to 7K, we will show you Ripter's premium accessories, but we will also promise you that next time we stream, Zinac, Zinac, Noah Prime. second. Prime. He's <laughs> Noah Prime. Uh. Other Noah. He will have his head shaved live on the stream. 
He has agreed to this foolishly, <laughs> not knowing how many of you know how to use Twitter bots or Twitch bots. And uh, let's get the 7K. Let's get rid of let's this guy's hair. This. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cold here in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. right? So let's get rid of this guy's hair. He's going to regret it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Jordan. Our producer has no hair. <laughs> you look good, though. You look dashing. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> let's do it. Let's bring the game up. Let's, let's show them what stuff. we got. Are we up? Okay, we're up. This is a character select screen, and this is our boy, Aganos. Aganos. We'll show you colors later. Don't get antsy in your pantsy. And we're gonna use good old Sadira as our training dummy. Sadira. She's a nice lady. And we do have an outline. We have an outline this week again, so we're gonna go through it point by point, make sure we don't miss anything. You mean we're supposed to follow that thing? We're gonna follow it. <laughs> All right. We're using the outline, it's gonna be great. <laughs> There he is. Oh, smash the rock. Yeah. Laying down the law. That's my boy. I don't know which eyes to look at, though. Like, which face <laughs> to look at. It's very confusing. All right. And there we go. So the first thing you probably notice is he doesn't cover the life bars. We have moved the camera out a bit. But I think what's important to note here, if you go ahead and walk away from me. Uh, oh, you, you have no control. Yep. That's right. I got I'm a smart man. <laughs> Human. Okay, there. The camera always zoomed out. No matter you know what characters you were playing as before, it had a, a zoom in and a zoom out. And the zoom out actually has not changed at all. You can't walk any farther away from Agonos than you can any other character in the game. Uh, it just doesn't zoom in quite as close when you walk in, that way he doesn't cover the life bars. So the gameplay has not changed as a result of this camera change at all. Very important to note. And we had a screenshot to show you guys what that looks like. Was that up on the screen already? Okay, that's coming up. Um, this screenshot will show you guys uh, Aganos standing as far away as possible from Sidira on Jago's stage, and then the same situation with Jago. And you'll notice while the camera is a little different, they are in the exact same spot on the blue carpet. So you cannot walk any farther away from Aganos than you would expect uh, to be able to walk away from any character. Yay! That's pretty much it for that. So you're probably all wondering <laughs> already, what's with the special UI? Why does he have uh, two little stones there? That's a great question, and I'm going to talk to you about it now. Well, the first thing that we need to talk about here is that he has a what we call a chunk system. He can use pieces of himself slotted into his chest. You can see two glowing rocks in his stomach right now uh, to augment himself in different ways and, and be used as you know for different tools, whatnot. So the first thing they, they do is they give you armor. Armor's very important. Every chunk is one hit of armor. So go ahead and hit me, Sierra. Oh, I'm walking through it. I got two chunks, so I had two armors. And now I have no armor, so go ahead and hit me. And of course, I can get my chunks back very easily by hitting back hard punch. Which just me scoop a chunk back out of the floor and slide it right back in. So I can go up to four chunks. And that makes me slower, it makes me very slow. So the more chunks I have, the more weighty I get. My jump gets worse, all that stuff. My punches are slower, everything's slower. Go ahead and take my chunks away and I'll show you how much faster I get. Now I walk at a pretty reasonable speed. I can play footsies, I jump much higher, a much more mobile, normal character. He actually does have a five frame normal, which is his light kick, but with one chunk or more, it actually starts to slow down and you'll have to use the armor to play it to your advantage. Very interesting mechanic. So be sure to chunk up whenever you get the chance by hitting back hard punch to gain a chunk. Go ahead and hit me again, get rid of that armor. There's a lot more stuff to do with chunks, but we're gonna talk about that stuff later. So let's keep moving through the outline. There's an elephant in the room. People have been asking, hey, can I throw this guy? It's in the chat too. Yeah, they've been asking Oh that. yeah. Can I throw this guy? He's so big. Keats, it doesn't make sense to be able to throw a guy this big, said the guy playing a video game where a skeleton <laughs> fights a dinosaur. <laughs> yes, you can throw him, and in fact, this is one of his huge weaknesses. Being thrown is a huge, huge weakness of his. Go ahead and toss me. Whip him up in the air. If you need a story reason for you to be able to throw him, uh, my theory is that the magic that animates him makes him lighter than he seems, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Wow. Where the characters are all really powerful. You can just do the stuff that you always do off of throws to him, uh, no difference. And armor, of course, will not prevent you from being thrown. So when an Agnos player is relying on their armor, just throw them, and that's a great way to uh, inflict some damage. Go ahead and get rid of my armor again, please. Of course. Hey, Keats, can people jump over Agonos? That's know. a great question. We should try it out. Go Probably ahead. Try that before. Hey, you made it. 
So every character in the game can jump over Standing Agonos except Spinal and Riptor. They actually can't clear him. Riptor can clear Standing Agonos using a tail flip. Spinal has teleport, so he's fine too. Everybody can jump over him when he crouches or when he's knocked down. So that's not too big a deal. Uh, but the, the kind of design philosophy for this character was being stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> so jumping over him isn't necessarily an easy thing to do. But because of his width, he actually is quite easy to get ambiguous cross-ups on. And there are a lot of buttons that don't cross any character in the game up that do cross him up. Look for those. They're very, very fun to use. Moving on. I want to talk to you guys about mindset. When you are fighting Agonos, you're going to need to adopt a brand new mindset. If he has armor, you're going to have to approach this match completely differently than you would any other character. So instead of just hitting him and doing a combo, your new goal is actually going to be to strip the armor away. Once the armor is gone, you can go nuts on him and just play as normal. So keep that in mind while you're watching all this. He's a very, very normal character without the armor. It's when he has armor that you have to treat him very differently and treat him like the giant that he is. Let's look at some normals, shall we? Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna show you guys all the normals at no chunk speed so that you can see the normal speed of them. They obviously get slower when I chunk up. Uh, punches are pretty great. You got standing light punch, crouching light punch, and jumping light punch. The really cool thing about these flicks is that even though they're slower than the light kicks, they have a lot more range, like really good range, as you can see. And they can destroy projectiles. So Jago's throwing fireballs at you, flick them out of the way. Very, very nice, very useful. Light kick uses uh, his head a little bit, do a little headbutt action. And that is his fastest move. It's actually a pretty good air move too, comes out pretty fast. If you need a fast button, that's your button. Medium punch is this huge slap, this huge back fist. And this has a ton of range as well. Really good air to air normal. Just generally great for starting offense and playing footsies because of its speed and range. Next up is, is a medium kick. That's gonna be a little tackle. It has less range than the medium punch, but it does start up faster. And the jumping version is actually very outstanding because it covers a lot of space and actually can cross up. So he does have a cross up, which is very, very good. Uh, the close version of standing medium punch I wanted to show you as well. Boom, smashes him in the head. You can get a, a link off of this into a light kick if you're good and I'm not good. Okay, I can't do it. You can, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> unless we accidentally change that. Uh, hard punch is a great button as well. Boom, oh my gosh. Big wall up, huge, huge range. Quite a bit of recovery, so you gotta be careful how you use this. And a lot of characters can duck it. Go ahead and duck. So if players duck that, they can just press a button and punish you for it. I did the close version on accident. Um, crouching hard punch is an uppercut, great for anti-air. Can set up some quick little juggles for you that can gain you space. And jumping hard punch will cause a ground bounce, which is an extremely ideal time to grab a chunk because they won't be up in time to stop you. Take my armor away, please. Standing hard kick is a great move as well. It actually causes a wall splat, and jumping hard kick causes a wall splat as well, which is our first jumping move that causes a wall splat, which is pretty great. And the two-hit version of that makes for some pretty easy confirms, uh, the up-close version of standing hard kick. And the next move is extremely important. Crouching hard kick is actually Agnos's only low normal. So he has a really hard time mixing up high lows because he has no standing overhead, and his only low is this. The shockwave from that hits low, so it has some pretty extraordinary range. But the other hit of that is a mid, so it goes mid-low. You're gonna need to use this move a lot, and because of the sweep reaction, you can actually get a chunk when you knock somebody down with it pretty safely. So, great great time to chunk up. Go ahead and take my chunk away, please. Well, actually, the next thing we're talking about is how to use them. So you're now- Oh no, we gotta, we gotta talk about, see, good thing we have the outliner. Yeah. Just gonna, <laughs> he's got pretty good footsies at this speed. Like, Sadira's gonna have a hard time standing in a range where her normals are effective and mine aren't, because I'm gonna be pressing this button a lot. Uh, whoops, I'm gonna be pressing this a lot, this a lot. Whoops, this, yeah. <laughs> uh, whoops, okay, forward hard kick, command normal, one. yeah. He has a command normal, forward hard kick, that looks like this. Poor hard <laughs> He can stomp on you repeatedly. And this is a pretty easy break because they're all heavies. Go ahead and break it after the third hit. Which is great counter breaker bait as well. Uh, and that's cancelable in the special so you can do pressure with it. When he gets heavier with armor, those actually don't combo and you can get, I saw Noah get counter hit by that six times in a row. <laughs> it was pretty fantastic. 
Um, it's a hilarious move. I recommend using it. It used to autocorrect when we took that out. That was dumb. <laughs> like he's way. stomping at Spinal. Spinal goes behind him and he turns around. <laughs> <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, let me show you his normal throws though. These are pretty important. Forward throw, boom, hits him in the stomach. Much, uh, much, plenty of time after a forward throw to grab a chunk. But because all these moves scale, actually, grabbing a chunk as I have more chunks gets slower and slower, as you can see. Even slower. Ugh. And I finally have all four chunks. The back throw slams him down. You can get some good Oki off of that. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but an important thing to note here about his throws is the extraordinary range of his throws. He definitely has the best normal throw range in the game, and that combined with armor, even though he doesn't have a command throw, can give him a lot of grappler kind of fear. Okay, we hit 3K. Good job, guys. Let's keep going. Uh, let's get those rewards, and we'll keep moving through the character. That should be all the normal stuff I need to show you. Thank you, Outline. Now let's move on to Payload Assault. You can use the chunks to actually uh, fire them at the opponent like ammo, essentially. So the light Payload Assault will eject the chunk and it'll roll across the screen. Does not hit low. We experimented with that and that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, medium sends one flying like this. These come out way faster than the usual projectile as well. It's pretty easy to get someone to try and jump over this and then jump into that. The heavy one's my favorite though. He actually ejects a rock and shatters it with his fist like a shotgun. Boom. That does a ton of hits, but not much damage. However, if I'm really close to somebody, it does a ton of damage. I did 25% raw. Um, and, it, and, you had some potential and I had some here. potential damage left over. There are some serious applications for that move that we know about that we're not gonna tell you about. <laughs> and when you find them, be happy. <laughs> that is an awesome move. Um, and if you have no chunks and you try and use a, a chunk toss or a payload assault, it'll actually just cough up a little, a little bit of rockage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good, but at least it's something. I never actually realized that hit. Uh, it didn't Brand until new. yesterday. Okay. That's good. <laughs> You can link off of that though. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing it very well. There. There you go. Boom. Okay. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Our outline, uh, no. Uh, outline, please. <laughs> um, there's another use for chunks we'll get to later, but that is how you use chunks as projectiles. So you're kind of balancing uh, the use of chunks as armor and as a weapon. One of my favorite things to do when I have one chunk, uh, go ahead and do like a jumping hard kick at me. I'll hit him out of the sky with Crouching Fierce. Oh, let me get one more chunk back. And of course he took my chunk away. Sorry. <laughs> he took my chunk away uh, before the fierce hit, but if I had done it a little earlier, go ahead. I could hit him with oh. that. And the real great reason to do that, go ahead and jump again. Whoops. Keep hitting me. Go ahead. Because I can chunk up again. So it cost me a chunk and I got the chunk back. Uh, look for stuff like that. Look for ways to spend a chunk and get a chunk back so you're kind of at, at neutral with, with your chunk balance, I guess. <laughs> Um, next move. This is a really cool move. This is called, uh, what's it called? It depends. So <laughs> this move is called Pulverize. In development, this move changed, unfortunately. It changed used, names. Yeah, so yes. should we show the move first? Yes, let's show okay. the move. This move is called Pulverize. He unhinges his top half and he spins. It's an opener. Uh, the heavy version's a little less safe, but steps forward a little farther. Actually really good in footsies as well. And if you get it from the right ranges, you won't get all three hits, so it makes it harder to shadow counter for people. But generally, this is a very shadow counterable move. Uh, so you need to watch out for that. This move used to be called... Clobbercopter. Clobbercopter. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my new things that I've been doing is I'm naming all the command lists, uh, like that combat traits thing that's in the game now. Since the last update, I did that stuff. Yes. And I named this move Clobbercopter, and it was there until a week before uh, it was supposed to be done. Yeah, so it can be really hard to deal with this move when Agonis is armored up. Because even though he's negative, go ahead and block. Even though he's negative, he might just do it again. Or button into that again. And if he presses a button, he's going to eat my armor and get hit. So what I recommend you do here, even if he has a lot of chunks, is go ahead and shadow counter this. Oh no, all oh, my chunks are gone. Yeah. So characters that have really fast shadow counters can remove most or all of the chunks by shadow countering this move, which will uh, make Agatha struggle to get his armor back. That is the pulverized quarter circle back punch, also known as the clobber copter. <laughs> Next up is a fan favorite. Go ahead and scoot back a little bit for me again. This one's called Natural Disaster. 
This is a opener on hit, so go ahead and let me hit you with this. That's the light version. The medium version goes a bit farther, gets you two hits, and the heavy version goes really far and pretty fast. This move is horrifically unsafe on block, however. Go ahead and block this. <laughs> yep. You bounce off Blanca Ball style, and characters can get a pretty easy punish on that. But what's really fun about this move is you can press up during it and add a bounce to it. One thing I forgot to mention, unfortunately, which I'll go back and mention now, is that Agonos' armor does not work in the air. If you are in pre-jump frames or jump frames, your armor will not work, which means if you're sure. armored, I can roll through stuff like this, but if I roll and then hop, you're way too close to me. You can just hit me out of it, and the armor won't work. So that's very important. Uh, we should have disconnected. <laughs> People are awful. <laughs> hey guys, how's the stream going? <laughs> no, it's usually like, hey, surprisingly, can you show me this? Yeah. Or are you making this? Surprisingly, it took a really long time for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so the people will jump a lot on this character when they're trying to move in on them because they're scared of things like this. Uh, but if they, you know, you just press up, tag them out of the air, which is great. Um, another really cool thing you can do with it, go ahead and jump over this. Oh, if you press up good. after you go under, he goes back the other way, which is hilarious. I have so no idea. Double jump that. forward, <laughs> double jump forward. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's so that, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, and then the other cool thing you can do with it, Matt's really good at spacing this, so I'm not. Okay. You can get cross-ups with it. Yeah, I'm so bad at this. I get it off a of back throw pretty easy, though. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Matt, I'm, I'm please, Matt. where are you? Matt, please. <laughs> there, there got go. it. Yeah, so you can get cross-ups with that with the right setups, and it's super terrifying. Just don't get blocked, because it's super unsafe. You can make it a little more safe uh, if you have armor, it's harder to punish. And of course, if you press up right before you hit them, block low for me. There's a little less recovery there if you tap up right before you hit him. Because he just gets back to the ground a little faster than he would if you hit on the ground. That is the natural disaster. Uh, in development, this move had a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to the movie Hook. This move, this move was called the Thud Butt. <laughs> if you get that reference, I like you. Uh, okay. That was three special moves. Do you think he has any more special moves? I'm not sure. Of course not. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's talk about the last use for chunks before we get into the last move. I know you guys have been waiting to see this uh, because it was teased in the last textual stream, but yes, Agonos can put new walls up in the stage. Sadira's running away from me. Oh, I'm chasing her. Oh, stop. Oh, God. Now there's a wall behind her, and that is a new stage corner. Anything that interacts with a stage corner, like a wall bounce or her web cling, will interact with that now. Um, very, very, very interesting gameplay along with these because... Obviously, Runaway is a huge, huge problem for characters like this, usually. And you can't run away from this character. He's just going to grab a chunk and put a wall behind you. If I try to put a wall up where a wall already is, it's just going to destroy that wall and resummon a new one. But if he moves forward a little bit, I can put up another wall. And now there's two back there. I don't know if we can see. Yeah, we can kind of see it, the edge of it. There are two walls back there. Um, another thing I can do is I can put a wall behind myself, and that's back three punches instead of neutral three punches. And now the stage is very, very, very small. <laughs> and now I'm super scared. <laughs> uh, let's talk about how to get rid of walls. So the first way to get rid of walls is any wall splat move. Sidira doesn't have one, so we can't really show you with her, but any character that you wall splat against a wall, whether you're Jago wall splatting Agonos or Agonos wall splatting somebody else, the wall takes one damage. Walls have three hit points. So that's two damage, and the third will destroy it. The next way to hurt walls, let me scoot forward a little bit. I want to put another one close so you can see. If you knock Agonos down, all walls take damage because of his weight. So all walls took one damage. From him. So that's the, the next way to get rid of walls. If you're feeling trapped, you're going to need to go knock him down if you want to get rid of the walls. That's your only way out, is to fight the monster. And of course, there's got to be another way to get rid of walls, right? No, that's no? no, I think that covered it. Yeah, okay, I mean, let's move to the next special yeah. move. <laughs> the next special move is a, a fan favorite that we call Ruin. It's a quarter circle back kick, and he punches you in the face and sends you flying. And the heavy version goes full screen with more startup. Just a really, really big wallop. Scoot forward a little bit, please. This move causes what we call a wall crash. Move forward a little bit more. Oh! Oh my god, 33%? But that was only one wall. What happens if I shoot you... Whoops. <laughs> Hold on, straight sides, this is all good. What happens if I shoot you through two walls? Oh my god! 
50 percent must be a typo well what if i have four chunks and i put up four walls that seems excessive there's no way they would let me do that let's move forward a little bit yeah i got another wall yeah come on over here oh we're getting closer together let's scoot back a little bit more getting closer together ah! <laughs> yes Four walls, one smash, 81% damage. You may freak out. <laughs> Arcanos, please. Uh, they've been freaking out for a while. Have they? <laughs> also, so, for what it's worth, you can still press B to make Isaac eat broccoli. Yes, oh. press B to make Isaac eat broccoli. Uh, also, for what it's worth, good luck setting that up in a match. <laughs> it is incredibly difficult to get even two walls uh, behind your opponent and break them through it, let alone four. Very, very difficult. Uh, if you can do this in an actual high-level ranked match, I will... I will applaud you. There's some other really gross things he can do that you probably won't be able to do in a real match. Uh, save those for another day. Wall crash. Pretty neat. Wish there was just another way to get rid of walls, but there's, that, we're out of them. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're out of them. Let's talk about combos. I know we talked about uh, in the textual stream his doubles being single moves but two hits. So that's because we wanted them to not feel as nimble and not as powerful. Uh, and you're going to probably see these in a second and be like, those are really slow. But they actually have the same frame data... Uh, to the, to the frame as Jago's auto doubles. They're identical. Mm -hmm. They just are a lot easier to see because he's in one pose for longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do clobber copter into light double. It's a two hit flick. The light kick one is a two hit face smash. Medium punch is a two hit slap. Medium kick is a two hit shoulder tackle. Heavy punch, whoops, heavy punch is the big uh, close heavy punch for two hits, and heavy kick is a big two hit stomp. Those are the auto doubles. I wanna talk about manuals real quick too. Uh, because his moves start up slower when you have more chunks, you would think you wouldn't be able to get the same manuals, but we actually have an override in there so that when you attempt a manual, you get the fastest possible version of the move. So your manuals, no matter how many chunks you have, will feel the same. So don't worry about that. That's not gonna uh, affect anything. In fact, all of your auto doubles and linkers don't change with chunks. It's just your neutral special moves, shadow moves, normals, etc, etc. Um, so let's let's check out his linkers. He has two linkers. He has the uh, pulverized linker. If I can just spin again. I'm gonna do medium double into light. Medium double into medium for two hits. And the heavy version hits three times, obviously. Uh, the other linker is the natural disaster, quarter circle forward kick. You can do one hit. Two hits, and that's a carry linker, which is pretty important. Three hits, because sometimes you need to push people a little closer to the next wall so you can wreck them through it. And uh, yeah, so those are the linkers, right? Let's talk about the enders. These are pretty important since we've seen all the special moves. I'm gonna build up a high damage combo here. I'm gonna do the pulverize ender. Boom, boom, boom. That one's a hard knockdown ender. Well, needs a longer hard knockdown. Probably. <laughs> Somebody write that down. <laughs> uh, that's the hard knockdown ender. It actually is probably his most damaging ender if you don't have any walls around. So pretty good to use if you already have armor. The next ender is the natural disaster ender. And it's actually pretty tough for Agano's players to change sides with their opponent because of his size and his jumps. So this ender actually changes sides with them. It's an exchange ender, very useful for making sure you keep the wall behind the opponent. Um, the next ender is definitely a fan favorite here. This is the Ruin Ender. I'm just gonna do a lower level version of this. And that does cause the wall crash. So if there is a wall in play, you don't have to do a raw Ruin in order to break somebody through it. You can just do a combo. This is a pretty short combo into a big wall crash. And that becomes his damage ender. It's not really a damage ender unless you have a wall, but if you do, wow you can get like 30% off a of level one. So watch out for walls, they're very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And the most important ender is probably the chunk ender, the payload uh, ender. I have one pip, I'm gonna, I have two pips. This ender summons a wall and smashes them into it relentlessly while regaining chunks. That regained two chunks because I had two ender levels. So if I only have one ender level, I'll get one chunk. And of course, if I have four, I can grab one, two, three, four. Oh, and I have all the chunks now. And now I'm just gonna be like, ah, I'm a monster. 
Okay, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, be sure you chunk up, you know? That ender it does bad damage. It's just not good damage, even though it looks brutal as hell. But you chunk up, and that's really important. So keep an eye on your chunks. Decide whether you want to use an ender that sends them far away so you can grab one chunk, or an ender that's going to grab a bunch of chunks and keep them close, which might be a better situation for you as an Agonos player. Which, of course, will come in handy when you're fighting sea styles <laughs> Which we'll talk about a little bit later. I want to get into the shadow moves, because these are really important. Agonos is very weak defensively. As you saw from his special moves, he doesn't really have anything that's going to help him get people off of him without shadow meter. He's going to have to spend shadow meter to really manipulate the game in that way. So, the most important one for me is definitely the shadow payload assault. Wouldn't you say, Isaac? Yes. And it's also the coolest one. Boom! He smashes the ground, the rocks go up, the rocks come down. There are some important things to note about this move. It has pretty long startup, so it's easy to get interrupt interrupted, and it's a little harder to find opportunities to combo into. Uh, so watch out for that. But if the rocks go up, they will come down. So go ahead and block the first hit here, and then hit me. They came back. They always come back if they go up. But one solution here might be to throw me. Whoops. Oh, I got I need a infinite meter. I'm on the wrong menu. Shadow meter, infinite. There we go. All right, I'll try it again. So he threw me, and then he's just going to block the rest, and we're pretty much neutral. He was actually advantaged there a little bit. And the reason you might want to do that to an Agonos player is because if they can actually get this off and make you block it from full screen, that's two chunks for free. Easy. Maybe three, if they're lucky. There's all kinds of other horrible things they can do to you during this as well. Uh, I'll give you one example. For instance, I can knock them up into the air, put a wall behind them, and then smash them through it. Which looks pretty damn great. 36%. 36%. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's a little bit. That's a great shadow move. There are some things that can combo into it. I definitely recommend fishing for this with hard kick. Not a bad way to do it. Oh, <laughs> oh, the next move that is very important is definitely Shadow Pulverize. As we mentioned many times in this stream, and we'll continue to mention, this character's weakness is being thrown. Other than his size, being thrown is awful for him. So go ahead and sweep me and then try and throw me. Shadow Pulverize, however, is thrown vulnerable and isn't open. So you're going to need to rely on that to get you out of throw situations. I was late, I was late yeah, that time. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next move that's super, super important is definitely Shadow Natural Disaster. That's going to look like... We're at 4. We're at 4K! Way okay. We made it to 4K, so that means we get to see the stage ultra, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Shadow Natural Disaster looks like this. Woo! That's an opener. It's pretty fast. There's some cool whiff punishes you can do with this if you're willing to spend the meter. However, one of the coolest things about it, Blanca Ball style, is you can hold it and charge up the speed a little bit. But what's even cooler about that is if you're being pestered from the air, which happens a lot because he's very tall, you can get people to land on it and then let go and crash into them. Let's go ahead and see that again. Oh, <laughs> you failed, you didn't yeah, jump on me. I did, I know. Jump over. I'm the worst. Let's do it the other way. Yeah. Okay, jump in. And that's pretty great damage. Honestly, 17% for an anti-air, and that can get you out of some sticky situations, so look for opportunities to use Shadow Natural Disaster as an anti-air. You cannot hop out of that move like you can the regular Natural Disaster, however. Oh, I nailed it! Oh. That was incredible. Oh. Matt does that on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> Full screen, it's really annoying. Uh, and then the next move, Shadow Ruin. Uh, this causes wall crash and has hyper armor. This is an unlimited number of armor hits. And more importantly, it does not use his chunk armor. It has its own hyper armor. Uh, I don't know how we can show that with this character really well. Yeah, do uh, knock me down and do meaty um, quarter circle back two kicks. Oh. The shadow version. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? That kick's not working. I'm, I hit two buttons. You're, holding the, you're hitting the wrong buttons. It's, oh. It's these buttons. You can hit any you're two. Bad at, he's bad at video You can hit any two show buttons. Me, show me. There are three buttons. Show me. You can hit any. There we go. <laughs> Mine that time. Yeah. This is a bad example. The, the okay, shadow air, air shadow daggers. Do that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. We got oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> just, just trust me. You gotta <laughs> <type> <laughs> <of> <laughs> juggernaut first. Yeah. 
Oh, that's right. Oh, it it's destroys project projectiles. Yeah. Duh. It also <laughs> destroys projectiles and it and is projectile example. immune. <laughs> Our, very outline. Our outline, please. <laughs> that move is projectile immune and destroys projectiles. Uh, that was a terrible example. Yeah, that was but it's a great move. Yeah. Causes wall crash. And also, this is a juggle cash out, a juggle ender. So you can do little things like this. Oh, I missed it. Works in the corner for sure. Wow. It does decent damage. Hmm. I feel like there's something missing. I don't know. What if I have a wall behind me and I just don't want one there? You already said we're, we ran out of options. But what if there's a wall behind me and I don't want it there? I feel like I trapped myself. You said we were out of options. What if I rip it out of the ground and beat my opponent with it? Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh no. What is going on? <laughs> All right. We call that the peacemaker. <laughs> Yes, you can rip a wall out of the floor and beat your opponent with it. It is fantastic. Let me show you the way. So what can you do with this? You get, this replaces all your punch buttons. Light punch is gonna be this. Medium punch is a little of that. And hard punch is actually an overhead. <laughs> Boom. That's pretty good damage. So I noticed it just, it, it fell apart. What's that yeah, it, the, the uh, Peacemaker has three hit points, just like his walls. You mm -hmm. get to hit the opponent three times and then it's gone and then you'll need to grab another. This thing is ridiculous, so be happy that you only get three hits. Uh, crouching hard kick, because we had this full screen overhead, right? Why not give him a full screen low as well? <laughs> crouching, hard, crouching hard punch is a full screen low. And of course, jumping hard punch will is his only recapture move. Uh, that'll recapture people. You can do some neat stuff with that. We'll get to that in a minute as well. He also gets a chain combo, a target combo with this. You can do light, medium, heavy. But more importantly, you can choose between standing or crouching heavy. So you can go low if you want to. So if they if they block it, uh, go ahead and block this. Yep. Mix up city. Oh, oh I gotta be a little closer for that. Uh, all your kick buttons still work here. You know, you can just do them like normal. So you have not lost your fastest move, which is great. But a lot of the, uh, pretty much every special move will destroy this thing instantly. So you need to make sure you don't accidentally destroy it yourself. Let's see the outline here. Right. Um, let's say I don't want this thing anymore. You gotta scoot back. Yep. I don't want this thing anymore. I picked it up on accident, whatever. I can just chuck it at somebody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is by far the largest projectile in the game. Uh, don't put hitboxes on and look at the hitbox on this because you'll just freak out. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah, super it's super fast. It's really fast, it's ridiculously large. Uh, please have fun with it. <laughs> there's all, all, there's one more thing you can do with this bad boy. Um, if I go for a back throw while I'm holding this, do I just get the usual back throw and I lose my peacemaker, jump that's, over me again? That's anticlimactic. That's anticlimactic. Yeah. But if I go for a forward throw, <laughs> you can wall crash people with a throw. And that throw actually acts as a command throw, even though it's input with light punch and light kick, it is unteckable. Bah! That is so fun. <laughs> and this is why none of you could have possibly guessed what his instinct is. <laughs> because you had no idea he could rip a wall out of the ground and beat somebody with right. it. Right. You were all like, oh, he's just going to replenish his resource. But what he actually gets for his instinct, which we call peacetime, is... Boom! A regenerating stick. Oh, it shattered. I'll have another. <laughs> oh, it's gone. I'll have another. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I'm coming to get you. Ah! Oh, I'm coming to get you some more. Ah! Oh. Yeah, those are cancelable by the way, standing the uh, light medium. So you can do light medium into, into natural disaster and get stuff off of that, it's fantastic. I gotta set my instinct mode to refill here. Uh, Matt likes to do crouching hard punch anti-air into instinct. Go ahead and jump. Oh, he might, I must have to do it faster than that. <laughs> but he'll recapture with that and then go into a full combo, which is pretty neat. Oh, I'm chunking up. Yeah, boy. Yeah, instinct mode. Peace time. Regenerating. Peacemaker. Still has three hit points. Still clobbers the crap out of people. Da -da -da -da. That's so great. That is Agnos. Yeah. Let's hear it for Agnos. Yeah, Agnos. So, is that really it? This character adds yeah. a lot to the game. Um, he's really interesting and really different, so I have some reminders I want to give to the players. Please listen up. This is my sage-like advice to you guys. Don't fight Agnos the way you fight everybody else in the game. Don't do it. If he has armor, focus on finding a way to rem 
focus on finding a way to remove the armor. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> Once the armor's gone, go nuts. Just go nuts. Annoy him using throws, make him make mistakes by throwing him a lot because armor doesn't stop any of that. And use fast multi-hitting moves, Ripter Flames, Conrad back medium punch, anything that hits multiple times or quickly, like TJ mash light punch, uh, saber wolf chain combos, any of that stuff is really, really helpful in trying to get some of this armor away. You can even find character specific stuff like uh, a lot of the armor moves that are gonna hit you in reply after uh, you armor. If you like saber wolf's run slide, he'll go under and the attack will just miss. So look for stuff like that. There are a lot of ways to deal with the armor. You're just gonna have to think outside the box a little bit. Be the mosquito. Be the annoying little guy who's willing to jump all over Agonos, hit him like crazy, strip the armor away, and then bully him to death. It is actually quite challenging to play as Agonos. He is not too hard to use, but he's pretty tough to win with because he requires a very different mindset. Uh, most, most of the time you can play the matchup and play the game, but I think an Agonos player is not only going to have to play the matchup, but he's going to have to play his opponent really where, really, really well. Agonos relies on fear, and... When you run into an opponent who's not scared of you, you're gonna have a hard time. So you have to find ways to use the armor and the other tools to make the opponent scared. If you can do that, you can be successful with this character. And of course, I want to remind you about C Styles Agonos Challenge. If you guys don't know, C Styles ran a live stream. He runs a live stream like every day yeah. for KI, <laughs> but he ran a special live stream when Omen came out. And anyone who could beat him in a three out of five set, if they were a, a subscriber to his channel, could win um, $25 that he donated. Uh, nobody was able to beat him for a while, and some other people started donating money to the prize pot. And over the course of two days, he went undefeated, and now the prize pot is at something like $830. Yeah. Yeah. And he's rolled it over. So when Agonos comes out, if you can beat Agano, if you can beat C Styles Conra with your yeah. Agonos in a three out of five set, you will win over eight hundred dollars. Yeah, that was a fun stream to watch too. Yeah, <laughs> yes, really enjoyed that. He's so these are going to be good too. He's probably yeah. watching this stream now, and he's just like, "Oh man." <laughs> 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 There's something else I want to talk about real quick before we get into matches. The Agonos mirror match. Agonos's chunk armor does not function in the Agonos mirror match. You can still use regular armor like on the Shadow Ruin, but the chunk armor does not function. And the reason for this is he, hits ju he just hits too hard. He doesn't care about that. But the real reason for it is that it makes the match <laughs> a lot more exciting. And uh, we, it's actually turned into a favorite mirror match around here. It was, yeah, when we had fun. the armor on, it was pretty rough. And now it's pretty fun. So just be aware that the armor doesn't really function in the Agonos mirror match, which I'm sure we'll see a lot of when the character's brand new. Yeah, I, I think that match... You play it very differently. You do, and it's yeah. it's a lot because of fun. it's all ammo. You yeah. don't worry about armor at all. It's all about and and it's much harder to dodge the shots yeah. too. But you have your hyper armor on the. You do. You have the the shadow, shadow ruin. ruin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's do some matches. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's check out Agonos's stage. Do some matches. Um, we broke 4K, so we can definitely show you guys the stage ultra. But we'll get to that a little later. Let's do some matches first. Uh, Isaac, I'm gonna pass this to you. You pass that one to Noah. All right. No also, is, ask is any questions Agnos? you guys may have uh, during sure. the matches. Cool. Uh, I could uh, send them over to Keats. Yeah, yeah. Them. Questions in the chat, please. Ramon is going to relay those to us. We're going to answer them while these two play a little bit. Um, and we, did we hit 5K yet? Uh, no, we are 4.4. Okay, if you guys want those balance changes, you need to get to 5K in the next probably 20 minutes or so. Otherwise, you'll just have to wait a week or two. Okay. Christmas comes oh. twice this year. <laughs> <laughs> Should we show another color? Yeah, you can go through the colors. There's a lot right. of people asking Autumn for, for taunt. Are we showing the taunt? Oh yeah, we can show the taunt. Got this purpley Agonos. We got this other purpley Agonos. Why is there so much purple, Ramon? That's the best <laughs> color. <laughs> it is so happy about color. that color. Yeah. It's so like another, uh, that's broccoli. the broccoli color. Yeah. 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 This got gray and green. We got <laughs> purple and pinkish kind of green. <laughs> I like this one because it looks like Devastator, the uh, Transformer that the Constructicons turn into. Nice. Nerd. And then we got this one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with Where's the, the obsidian one? Is that gone? It is gone. Oh well. Which one should I pick? The one that you like the best. You're going with the transfer one, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> it's either this or the purple one. Here's a good question, Keats. Uh, someone wants to know if Agonos breaks through uh, Glacius armor and the other armor nope. in the game. He only ignores other Agonos chunk armor. All other armor still works on Other him. armor is magical. His armor is physical. Correct. That, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Make up whatever reason you need <laughs> yeah. to. It just makes the game more fun. It's time for a Christmas beating. Yeah, Gla Glacius' armor and instinct works in the air, 
Uh, but Agnos right. never works in the air. So that's a, a huge difference to keep in mind. Question from the chat. Do walls stay uh, between rounds? Absolutely. Walls absolutely stay between rounds. You want to get rid of walls, you knock this monster down. Oh, very nice. What did I say, Noah? Put when he gets up. No, when he gets up. <laughs> I told you to spin. So he's wall splatted Agonos and knocked him down. So the wall's taking two damage. And oh, there's yeah. the third damage. Oh, yeah. I guess some of the throws aren't triggering a knockdown damage for the walls. We'll have to look into that. Oof. Oh, he's getting wrecked. Oh, no. <laughs> it can be pretty tough to win with Agonos. It's going to take some talented people to show us the way. It's all right. Just Come on, Noah. It's all right. Get it together. You got any more questions from the chat? Um, you need to chunk up. That's the problem. Okay. He's doing this. Questions. He wants to chunk uh, up. Uh, how Girl. many walls can be put up total? Agonos can what? put up four walls. However, in an Agonos mirror, it is theoretically possible to have eight walls. However, okay. walls do not have any ownership once placed in an Agonos mirror. If you put a wall behind me, I will rip it out of the ground and hit you with it. So you will never see eight walls in an Agonos mirror. <laughs> They're also it's just not going space. to happen. They can't yeah. be too close to They can't other. be too close together, otherwise uh, they destroy each other. So you have to keep that oh, I try They to always come back. Um, oh, someone no. asked if he can be throwable. He yes, answered. you can absolutely throw him with any character you want. In fact, that is a the primary weakness of his. Being yes. thrown is pretty rough for him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, watch your mouth. <laughs> can we not say that? Oh yeah, throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming to get you. Oh yeah. no. That's tough. Some new people in the chat uh, asking what his instinct does. Okay, so you guys missed some of the, the first part of the show. If you missed the first part of the show, uh, definitely rewatch the archive when this goes yeah. up on YouTube in a few minutes. Uh, but the quick answer is, uh, when you rip a, a wall out of the ground and hit somebody with it, that's called the Peacemaker. And instinct mode is peacetime, where you get a Peacemaker that regenerates. So even when it breaks, you get another one back. And you can just keep walloping people with a stick from full screen. Full screen high lows, super fun. Then someone's asking if on the Agonos Agonos mirror match, can you punch through all eight walls? Theoretically, I think you can do that. Uh, incredibly unlikely, and they'll probably be dead on the fifth wall. <laughs> but yeah, you could probably do it. I'm sure somebody will make a video of that when this character comes out. Did we show the taunt? We didn't yeah, do the taunt yet, because Noah's getting wrecked. Let me just, uh, <laughs> let me just beat up this boxer first. Noah asked me for advice on this matchup before the stream. <laughs> and the one thing I told him to do, he has not done a single not time. That's true. that thing. He's completely ignored me. <laughs> oh, Spin. There you go. Pulverize is a great media against TJ because it beats all of his wake-up options if you time it correctly. But TJ jumping hard kick is really hard to deal with <laughs> when you're a tall monster like this. Oh my yeah. god. If he does it up that high, though, and you block it, you get a throw punish when he lands. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. That hurt. That's tough. Oh, and of course I dropped it. That is tough. Come on, Noah. You yeah. can do it. Don't worry, we got There's this. There's a lot of people calling you out on chat, Noah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Just, oh. Well, people don't know how hard it is. Oh. He is harder to use. This character is really hard to win with, yeah. yeah. It's gonna take some time. Uh, you have to change up your style when fighting him. You totally do. For playing against him or as him, it is pretty tough. I have a feeling C Style's money will go untaken. Three chunks. Oh, three chunks. He is chunked up now. And there's a wall. He, okay, I know what he wants. <laughs> Noah telegraphs this pretty bad. Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> I'm so scared. We're going for it. I'm so scared. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. 53%. Oh, Noah. No, please, come on, finish no. it. Oh, yes! Okay, I'm still, I still got this. Oh, shit, that's right. Oh, that's right. TJ's not dead. Oh, sorry. I got a. You gotta get a better mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, you're so oh. scared right now. Everyone can see it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that I was got awesome, my moment. Though. I had my moment. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was incredible. You want to try? Yeah, yeah. There yeah, you uh -oh. go. Here's my sweaty arcade stick. It's fine. Does it reach? Yeah, it yeah of course. You, you were just using. Do you it. have any other characters? Yeah, play your play your skeleton. Okay. Remember to select slowly. I'd just like to point out also that I'm still undefeated on stream. Mm. <laughs> just is that why you, is that what you get when the sticks are quickly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, that, that was too close. Oh, 
Nope. You can nope. still you can also still press B to make Isaac and Brock play. Oh no, again. no, please. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, we may not be able to play Spinal right now. Yeah, this do the mirror match. A, a development. Okay, let's build. do the mirror match. Yeah. I gotta go with Autumn. Uh, Autumn Agnos is my Agnos, I think. Purple one, because he kinda looks like crystals. Yo, weird. <laughs> I will try to do the ultra when I beat Noah. All right. Not if. Oh. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna try. Ah, I'm a monster. All right, let's go. Ammo, ammo. No, no. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Uh, someone asked oh. if the camera will be back to normal when Agonos is not on screen. Of course. Nothing is different when Agonos is not being played. Re-camera. It only pulls out when he's being used. <laughs> oh no. Get out of here, oh. big man. I'm not entirely sure. Someone uh, has asked a couple times, does Agonos have a backlash? A back dash? Oh yeah, he can dash. He can dash. His dashes are so bad. I was confused. Okay. Agnos' dashes are so horrible that you'll probably regret it every time <laughs> you do them. Uh, and then you'll understand why you probably don't want Glacius to have a dash because <laughs> at least you can't get him on accident. Stop that. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh yes. So good. Yes. Good. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Chunk, chunk. Oh no, it's out of Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of block damage. Oh! Oh no. That was brutal. Oh, jeez. I got this. Ultra! This is it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh -oh. Oh, no! I missed oh. it! I didn't want that hard kick. That was an accident. Man. This oh, we gotta awesome. bury him. And there's his grave. And let's put a flower on it. <laughs> That's uh, nice. What a gentle giant. What a gentle guy. That's very nice. So good. Play skeleton. Uh, I can try. If it'll load him. Come on. Come on, Come on skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> he's not coming. No, he's not. Yeah. That's sad. Okay, no skeleton. You have any other characters? Uh, play some Jago, I guess. Oh, that's a good oh, idea. We can okay, actually we show go. stage ultra. Oh, you can show some flicking action too. Yeah, let's do that. Let me fight your Jago. Let's go class. Oh wait, no, I want to go uh, catch the mustard man. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I will attempt the stage ultra here when I destroy Noah. When? How if. could how could Agnos deal with a guy with fireballs though? He's so slow. There's no way. You gonna toss me some plasma? I'm gonna flick it. <laughs> So how are the reactions right now on stream? They're pretty crazy. They're reacting right now to that uh, ultra animation that just happened. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that these these projectiles destroy all other fireballs as well. Pretty useful. Oh, I'm chunkless. I'm defenseless. Get away from me. What? You're a bad what? man. <laughs> oh no! Oh, almost, <laughs> I missed yeah. my cross up. I'm gonna go for it again. Someone asked Damn why it. a flower? Uh, cause it's a, cause it's nice. It's a nice gesture. <laughs> oh! Wow. Yesterday Noah said that move wasn't very useful, so he spent the, so the worst. next four hours getting hit by it. <laughs> <laughs> worst, uh, worst punch move. Worst, worst normal Oops. move he has. <laughs> no! Oh, he got me. He got me good. No. He got me good. I can respect that. Oh, I got oh. you good. 
That was a throw attempt. Yeah. <laughs> donk, donk. Oh, oh, I didn't make it. I should have done more carry linker. Yep. Yeah, so I guess that was a good thing to actually show that range does matter for right. uh, for the wall crashes. Yeah. Yeah, they don't go forever. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm down. Someone's asking if uh, his Peacemaker can reflect, reflect projectiles oh. like a baseball bat. Hold on, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no. <laughs> What? Noah, you're so mean. <laughs> ah! Just leave that wall. Knock Kaganos down. Oh. It's gonna kill him, isn't it? Let, just let me stage all for you. Uh. <laughs> just let me do it. All right. Knock me down so I can get rid of that wall real quick. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm in the, I'm in the right spot. You gotta be here. I'm gonna do it from center, P2 yeah? side. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> no, Jago! No! Aww. Oh, Jago. Jago is dead. <laughs> oh, that's his taunt, too. That wasn't very gentle. Where's the flower? Jeez. Did we make 5k? Can we talk balance changes? Someone not asked. Quite. No, we did not. Womp womp. You guys Someone are not going to see a shaved head. From the look of it, it looks like Agonos takes a lot of damage. Is that correct? He doesn't take or deal any more damage than anyone, really. Uh, the game kind of plays by those rules very specifically. Every character has the same health. Uh, characters deal comparable amounts of damage. Um, yeah, I mean, he has some stuff that can hit really hard, like smashing people through walls, but generally, he's a pretty normal KI character outside of the crazy stuff he does. Let's go again. Come on, Jago. Don't walk away from me, Jago. Oh. Oh, he wants to grab me. I can feel it. So what's, Isaac, what's our stream viewer coming up? No! We're at 4,500. Oh man, we're almost there. Isaac, you may know this. Is there any way that his uh, ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. his face looks different depending on what he's doing? Uh, his face... Someone was saying if he has the beat stick, it's a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, it, visually it his eyes, uh, they, they glow more. The middle of his head, you'll see he has like this gem on it that also starts to glow. Oh no, 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 uh, there so goes it. see that sort of stuff happen uh, during the match. Uh, it happens when he has instinct uh, it's ready to be active. Right. And then he also changes it when oh, he's no. actually doing his instinct. I'll take these. We still not shown the taunt? No. Uh, they <laughs> saw some of the taunt. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. No, it's not gonna work. What did everybody do with the stage altar? It went pretty crazy about it. Yeah. It's a lot of petrified and stuff like that. <laughs> Can you change the uh, goal for No, stop hitting me. Thing to 5,000 instead of 7,000? Can we just change just it to right to shave his head. <laughs> no, just change well. it to right now. Yeah. <laughs> Chunk, please. Someone's asking. Can you flick two fireballs? Yeah. No, it's very hard. <laughs> Adam, you might be able to answer this. Someone's asking if Shadow of the Colossus is, is an inspiration for the character. No, not really. It's not uh, what helped inspire the character design. Once I pass the controller over, I will talk a bit about that. Hey, say, like, watch your mouth. Sorry. Should just say The Rock or something. <laughs> like Dwayne Johnson, he was the inspiration. <laughs> Oops. Oh, jeez. I wasted that. Oh, you know what we've got to show, speaking of wrestling, we need to show the ultra Because so that's the most amazing move in the game. Oh, I forgot. It's pretty Adam, good. Adam can't think. And, and do, he can't do two things at once. I, no, I, I can't type and talk to you at the same time. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, also, Isaac, it Isaac you can something. answer this, or Noah. Um, how does Fulgor and Spinal teleport interact with the walls? Does he teleport behind them? No. The walls are the walls of the world. Oh, I gotcha. Them. Yeah, so for... Pretty much think of it as a wow. wall that's in the game. That was really good. Now. So you can't go behind a safe area. Basically. Go ahead and throw. Okay. What are you doing? No. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let me pass this again so I can talk. Uh, so we want to talk about the inspiration yes. for Mr. Broccoli Man here. You want to be or I guess Diego? this is. I'll, I'll tell the long Switch version characters. of the story because it's kind oh, of yeah. fun. Uh, when we were kind of planning Ki Season Two with Microsoft. Uh, there was kind of a lot of like drawing charts and graphs about the characters that are already in the game and the characters that are definitely planned for season two and what kind of roles they fill and what kind of uh, archetypes they fill and, and if they suit offense or defense or if they're passive or if they're aggressive. And we kind of just look for holes in that, right? Like, 
who doesn't have something suited to them. And this is kind of a rare archetype in games to begin with, but there's just like this non-grappler big body character that you really only see, you know, from some of the anime games and from Marvel, like Hulk or, or Juggernaut. Um, and we wanted to do that, you know? We wanted to put a large, uh, really, really large oh. character in the game, really play with size. Uh, and we weren't sure what that was yet, so the original kind of name for this guy was was just Big Body. We just called him a Big Body. We didn't know what he was yet. We pitched a ton of ideas around, and I forget who it was, but somebody brought up the idea of doing a Golem, and that really clicked with me immediately. Oh. I was picturing, you know, like Knack had come out recently, and I'm like, oh man, wouldn't it be cool if he could like rip chunks of himself out and throw them at you? That would be a fun gameplay dynamic. Uh, and then uh, one of our animators, Andrian, said, you know, what if he could, you know, build walls with his rocks? Like, that's a that's a great idea, and we started talking about that idea, and it just all really came together in a great way. Uh, I think the character brings not only a lot of new to KI, but a lot of new to fighting games in general. He's a really unique experience to play as. Um, I'm, I'm sure he's not for all of you, but there's a bunch of you out there who are really going to love this character, love the challenge he presents, and love the mindset that you get to put yourself in when you play as him. So please look forward to it. Are gonna get fucked? I hope that answered the question. I think so. What else you got for me? Um, I think that's the person who yeah. <laughs> There are a lot of like strategy questions. People are asking if you can trap the opponent or any setups for wake ups, anything like that. Yeah, and there's a ton of things you can do on wake up to people, especially if you have armor that negates a lot of their options unless you get meaties. But you gotta get that range and you gotta get at that range with the armor. Uh, putting a wall behind you is much more useful than just grabbing it out of the floor for a uh, peacemaker. If you corner your opponent without walls, you just walk them back to the corner, like they've done right now, you can put a wall right behind you. The size of the stage is super tiny. He, he said do it, and then he kicked you and you tried. What a jerk. Man, no, you're a bad person. What happens if the Peacemaker throne uh, comes in contact with a shadow projectile? It, it wins. It wins? It, be, it should beat everything, mm -hmm. yeah. Noth nothing beats uh, the throne Peacemaker. Cool. It makes uh, peace. I think hype might. Oh yeah, hype. Oh no, it might just pass through. Actually. Does it? I don't remember. <laughs> Here's an awesome thing you can do, Noah. Do yeah. it. Then he hits you when you try. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh no. Correct. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess I gotta say this, but that's, that's, that's work. Yeah. Craig says everyone type Craig. Show us Conrad Retro. Or Craig says, show us Conrad Retro. Oh, God. No, even even without the viewers? What are you saying? Our Craig? Our Craig. He wants well, us to. Really? Unless it's someone posting us, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so, Craig, oh, okay. if it's you, I got my phone on me. I'll yeah. wait for that. <laughs> I said, I do not have my phone on me, so call me. Yeah, I'll check my texts. <laughs> oh. He's claiming executive. I still oh, don't God. believe that's correct. And of course, a reminder, guys, this character's still in development. Still some more things that'll get polished up before we ship him out the door. No! I'm afraid your path ends here. And uh, my good buddy Karasa, Jeff Blyden, says this character looks like a mini PTX. And boy, are you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does Peacemaker remove Shadow Locust swarms? Yeah, should. Should destroy all. Swinging it or throwing it? I mean, either way. Swinging yes. it, no. Well, yeah, swinging, swinging it will trigger them, not destroy them. Throwing it should destroy them. All right, now Ishmael is also saying nice. show Kanye's retro. <laughs> so, okay, so we're skipping the balance changes, but we're showing the retro even though we didn't hit the goal. Is that what we're doing? I'd love to show the balance changes. There's some things I'd love to talk about. Maybe they can give us permission for that, too. We'll play a few more matches before we decide. Theory we could be both. What? what? Are you saying that there's a change for Conra? <laughs> I need my stick. Oh, no. ah, oh, that no. was poorly spaced. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Yeah, I know she seems to be moving around. <laughs> <laughs> That's that terrible. Yeah, look yeah. how you can all sheep it. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, I'm the worst. Yeah, but you're better than Noah. No, oh. I'm only I only know TJ. <laughs> yeah, we know. 
Every time you come on the stream, you just play TJ. It's really embarrassing. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Eat, some, eat some broccoli. Yeah. Oh no. Is Isaac on camera right now? <laughs> Is he? Oh, no. All right, that was good. Jordan, no. Can you put him on camera while he's playing this real quick, just on the side? Thumbs up when he's on camera. Is he on camera? I don't know what you. I'm afraid you. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank so, you. just talk to Craig. He actually wants us to talk about balance, okay. not the retro. Oh. Okay. So, we, which, so we're doing balance, not retro? Uh, we're doing balance. We're doing more. Um, we can do whatever Yeah, hand me that one. Oh, all right. There you go. Yeah, you can just... You can stand. What are we doing? We're fighting gonna, matches? Or just going to go balance? through some quickie balance changes. All right. Man, that broccoli <laughs> smells weird. <laughs> Ramon, where did we get this from? Trader Joe's. <laughs> Sponsoring the. <laughs> yeah. Do they want me to go through the whole list or just the the highlights? Tell me, buddy. I don't know, man. Um, so I mean, should we start with the big system change? Yeah, that's what, that's what I was about to do. Uh, just pick anybody that is loading, not not spinal. That's good. Retro. Yeah, ketchup and mustard. Man. So there's a uh, system change coming in, guys. This, uh, Arguably large, I guess. Um, open or ender situations no longer cash out damage at all. They are still breakable like they always were, but you cannot cash out this way. So obviously this affects Omen and Fulgore because they are using potential damage in a big way now. Uh, and we don't want people doing open or ender to get a free cash out on that stuff. So we've made that change. I just need to build meter, so go ahead and block for me. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> I guess I should use meter enders, huh? Let me hit you. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonic despair him. Watch his life. And then I'm gonna try opener ender. And I got the ender, but I got no cash out. Big change. That's coming in. Obviously the reason for this was the opener ender stuff people could do with Omen and Fulgore after we added the potential damage stuff. So that is the system change that's coming in. Let's talk about some smaller changes. Uh, how about Saberwolf? Saberwolf maybe is hitting a little too hard uh, in instinct, I think. So uh, the Feral Cancels are, are extremely potent. People are getting really good at using them. And I think the time is right to drop his instinct damage bonus from 20% to 10%. He still hits really hard, still has a Feral Cancel. We've also reduced the damage that his overpower command normal deals by about 20% as well. Because that move kind of had everything. It hit super hard, starts up super fast, and has tons of advantage. So uh, we've dropped the damage a little bit to hopefully keep that more in line with the rest of the game. Spinal also got a little bit of a, a damage decrease on a couple moves. On his Searing Skulls, they do about 20% less, because you get a curse. And the Shadow Searing Skull is about 30% less and gives you an instant curse still. So those just do a little less damage, uh, makes some of the juggles he can do a little less potent when he's going for curses instead of damage. We feel those are pretty good changes. Uh, Fulgore. Fulgore also, we wanted to keep the fun stuff we added to him, the new meter building, uh, which people are enjoying in Instinct, and the new uh, potential damage and block potential damage from the Devastation Beam. Uh, but the fact that he can get all this extra meter now and the fact that on, you know, two and a half meters in a combo, he was easily dealing 85% damage on a lockout. We just felt he needed to drop his damage a little bit as well. Uh, we've dropped all of his damage across the board except for De Devastation Beam uh, about 10 to 15%. And we think that feels a lot more in line with the rest of the game now as well. We also fixed some missing uh, Kara input checks, some piano input checks on Devastation Beam and on Power Charge during Instinct. So I know a few of you were complaining last month that those moves were kind of hard to get out. That should be fixed in the next patch. Uh, very helpful. And the next ones I want to talk about, can we load up uh, Maya and Conra? Will Conra load? Very he nice. will. What, what is that icon? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Oh. <laughs> Maya and Conra have a couple little changes here I want to talk about. Oh, stage, yeah. 
So there's this nasty dagger juggle that people have been doing since the beginning of Maya. And uh, I think the real problems with this juggle are that uh, when you decide to end the juggle with her Shadow Ender, uh, you can cash it out, which can lead to 35-40% uh, pretty much unbreakable damage, which is kind of in line with what other characters can deal for the same amount of meter, so that's not really the issue for me. Uh, the issue for the team really was that uh, the daggers on hit build an absurd amount of meter, and she could do this combo and do the Shadow Cash Out and have half a meter left over more than she started with. So you start it with one meter, you end up with a meter and a half. Which is like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really ridiculous. Um, so those deal a lot less, uh, they, they give you le a little less meter on block, so go ahead and block this. Still pretty good, but on hit, don't block, they build much, much, much less meter. So your dagger juggles uh, when you do things such as this. Uh, those are gonna give you a lot less meter. And you probably noticed the other change there just now. Uh, if you do roll into dagger throw and they don't block it, it actually bounces off now. That's uh, a buff nerf, called a buff nerf. <laughs> it's actually really great from full screen because it can help you weave in from farther away and maintain a dagger juggle, which is really cool. But up close, when you try and do the dagger juggles like I just did, you'll actually just see them bounce away, uh, which really limits your potential here. Whoops. Oh my Whoa. god, I'm the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now they're gone. Yeah, that one would have bounced off too, and I would have had to go get it. So the, the use of that is much more limited now. We really never intended for you to be able to pick up a dagger and throw that same dagger in the same motion. Uh, it just got a little out of control, and we waited as long as we could to kind of dial that back, but I think this is the right solution. And it really does help our full screen game and help her close the distance. So it has, it. you know, uh, Brandon here in QA is a great Maya player and he got his hands on it and he was like, I actually like this. This yeah. helps me get in on a lot of characters. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, Kanra has had some additional recovery added to his clutch attempts. So go ahead and try. Don't, don't hit me, it's recovery. Okay. You won't see anything if you grab it. So you can see he recoils a little harsher on those. Um, and the reason for that was there was just a lot of setups where you get scarabs above somebody's head on knockdown. You go for a meaty grab, and they either have to eat the grab into combo or jump into the scarabs, and he recovered so fast from the grab that he could whirl and pick that combo up too. And the fact that he could get both situations without needing a read just end, ends up being too much, I think. So we added a little more recovery to the clutch. If you think they're going to jump, press a different button and fake it. They'll jump into the scarabs. You can still whirl. But if you're going to go for a meaty clutch, you're not going to get a free recapture from a whirl anymore. Uh, just because you had scarabs there. You're going to recover a little too slow for that. Sorry, Conrad players. Had to happen. Sea Styles. Sea Styles. Probably pretty mad right now. And happy birthday, Shinku88. <laughs> you know, while we have Maya on screen, we didn't show Maya and Agonos. Some interesting uh, interactions between the walls and the daggers. Uh, we didn't have out. Agonos on the screen, no. so we couldn't. Well, but we'll I want to figure that out for himself. Yes, we will. Uh, I want to show. Oh, oh, what is that? No, we weren't oh, supposed no. to show that. Oh, oh well, we'll just do it. <laughs> um, pick anybody that loves. Anybody. Here, how about Maya? Great. Oh, retro Maya. So Ripter has a buff nerf too. Um, uh oh. Yeah, we kind of felt that. The Oki you get off of Flame Carpet was a little bit too guaranteed. Uh, it locked down for a little too long. And uh, I think the change we made actually makes her a, a more intelligent, thoughtful character instead of just kind of repeating the same sequence over and over again until you win. Um, so what that change is comes in two parts. The first part is that her hard knockdowns off of Crouching Hard Kick and Tail Flip Enders are actually longer than before. And this means that I can get a flame carpet out a little bit faster and have enough time for uh, an actual meaty attack on top of the flame carpet. Uh, I'll do a tail flip under as well here. So I have a lot more time than I did before. It may not be noticeable, but it will be when you play. <clears throat> the other part of the change here is that flame carpet can no longer hit somebody who is in jump or pre-jump frames. So go ahead and jump onto this and hold up. Can't hurt you. And that also means that if you want to jump out of this, you just go right ahead. No big deal. So you're not locked down anymore. What that means for Ripter players is you're going to have to actually use a meaty. Oh, that hit me. Try so if you expect them to jump, you can hit a meaty button, and then the flames will pick them up, and you can continue as normal. Or if you expect to jump, you can do something goofy like this, <laughs> which is pretty great as well. 
You still have great options. You still have total control of the match when you use these setups. It's just a little less thoughtless. Uh, so that is that is the big change for Ripter. We also fixed an issue where she was uh, getting out of the recovery of Shadow Clever Girl uh, if her opponent was in the air. Uh, now she actually suffers the full recovery and is punishable. So that will help a lot when Paul B does this and then <laughs> runs under you and does that. Uh, that was pretty silly. And there's a couple other bug fixes here and there, but that's pretty much the balance change list. Um, yay! Nobody claps. <laughs> yeah, uh, the only thing we didn't really talk about when we had Omen on screen was the fix to his link. Yeah, fix. I mean, bug fixes, yeah, yeah for yeah. Omen, we, we made it so his medium punch double is breakable. <laughs> 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 and uh, if you use the Shadow Furious Flurry linkers um, from up close, they'll actually work as linkers now instead of being unbreakable. Yeah. Because uh, he was getting a lot of unbreakable damage there. Let's check out Conra in his outfit. Um, nope. No? Nope. Not doing it? Not, not doing it. it. Okay, not doing it. Are we out of time? Press B for Brock. We are out of time. We're Press B for Brock. <laughs> oh, that explains okay. why we're not doing it. All right, you well, go. you guys tuned in, about 4,500 of you. That's pretty close. You got the 5K bonus yeah. as a bonus without getting the 5K, but I guess we're not giving you the 6K or the 7K. You kind of got the 7K. <laughs> you got half of it. You didn't yeah. get the important half, which was Chase's head being shaved. Next time. Uh, before we sign off here, Noah, you worked really hard on this character, and I want to thank you. Thank you. You did a great job. Um, I think Agnos is awesome and fresh and unique. Do you have anything to say about the experience of working on him? I'd say it rocked. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you can leave. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> You're free to leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess that's it. That's, that's tender moments. It was great. Yeah. I think people will be excited, hopefully. Yeah, and can't uh, wait, so. This was all over your face. Do not put this <laughs> on my face. I do think we should cook some of this broccoli, but maybe not that piece. It's disgusting. You guys didn't even buy cheddar. Ugh, gross. We bought ranch that we, we never used. Ranch. I know. Need it. Yeah. This is all broccoli for show. <laughs> no, and this they, broccoli's not going they to They bought waste. it Aldi. Taking this broccoli home. <laughs> Trader Joe's, come on. Trader Joe's yeah. has a higher percent chance of being genuine broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun stream. I enjoyed that. It was. That was, that was fun. awesome. Any last minute questions from the chat? Can you throw Agnos? <laughs> oh my god, you're, you can go. You can go. Uh, everybody, we'll have, I think, soon information on the Agnos trailer, which yeah. will have a release date in it. There's lots more coming in that update. Balance changes, uh, leagues and ladders, yep. and a bunch of other cool, cool stuff. Uh, look forward to it. Thank you for joining us. We're Iron Galaxy. Kind of getting a tease already. Yeah, there's already card. a tease. Look at that fancy player, that player card. card. Mm. Oh my god, it looks uh, a little different. What does Killer mean? Yeah. Hard to say. But this movie's different too. It's got more characters in it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> finally, uh, we are Iron Galaxy. Thank you for joining us. I am Adam Keatshart. This is Isaac Torres. This is Noah Sasso. That's Ramon Franco. Off screen, not pictured. Jordan Peterson, our lovely producer, and his very very fine bald head. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got, man. I'm ready for a nap. Man, there's a lot of hate towards me. Oh, yeah, because of the comment thing. Bye. Oh, Aww. it's not Ramon's fault. <laughs> <laughs> What's not Ramon's fault? Well, <laughs>